good. You know what, Kayla? This is an exciting day. This is an exciting show. I'm just excited all around today, Kayla. I wonder why. I, I wonder why you're so, so excited, excited, so hyped. You're so pumped. Why today. is that? Why is that today? I, I don't know why. Kayla, how you feeling? Tell I'm me how you feeling. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Feeling blessed. It's a good day. I've it had a is. good weekend. Every yes. day. It's a good day. It's a it good is. day. Yeah. And yourself? Them Broncos. That's all I'm going to say. That's How right. about them? So How about them? Killer been giving me a hard time. And I have other people been giving me a hard time about my team. And guess what? We came through when we needed to. Yeah, baby. So let me just tell y'all, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Because that's the only way you're going to know when we come in. That's the only way you're going to know. So make sure you subscribe because it's all about the Davidson's intervention right now. I haven't seen you this pumped. I haven't I know seen you, you this have, like I'm in a long super, time. I'm super excited. Yes. Yeah, so well, I'm glad you're feeling good mm -hmm. and I'm glad you're, uh, you know, just on cloud 9, 10, 11, and 12. That's good. That's okay. That's okay. You know. Okay. It is. You know. So let's get serious. Let's get serious. Let's really get serious. Yes. Let's get serious. Okay. How about them Broncos? <laughs> <laughs> let's get serious. Okay, let's get serious. I'm, finna, I'm about to get serious. I'm about to get serious. I am about to get serious. If people only knew, if people only, only, knew, knew, only knew what, what today is. What today, today is just a, a slow a day. day. <laughs> so let me just really get serious. Kim, we got uh, someone that How emailed about us. So, so I'm glad you said that. Someone uh, emailed me, Kim. They emailed me this question. I guess okay. several questions I got. Okay. And a lot of people, thank y'all for telling me you enjoyed those questions and answers, y'all. And I know y'all want us to do it again because that's what the email said. Please do more questions and answers because y'all sent us more questions. We're going to get back to those questions. But I have one that in particular that really stood out to me this okay. week. Okay, did. So okay. I wanted to uh, discuss it. Okay. And just kind of see where we are, yeah. uh, you know, how, how you feel about it. Okay. Okay, Kim, so they wrote in. Let me pull it up real quick. It says, Dear Davisons. It says, um, Good evening. Mm -hmm. Hopefully all is well. And it said, I am married and my husband is kind of, is really controlling. Ooh. How do I get him to be open-minded and listen to me when we're having a discussion? Uh, so often he is, because of his, because he is controlling, it's usually just one, he's not, I'm sorry, he's not open-minded. It's almost like his way of the highway. He doesn't really listen to me. Mm -hmm. And we've been married for a very long time. They didn't tell me how long, but okay. they've been married okay. a very long time. Okay. So I guess they just want to know, Killer, how do you get a person to live? And the reason it stood out to me because a controlling person. So to me, what stood out about it is he's controlling. Mm -hmm. but they've been married a long time. Wow. Okay. Wow. So how do you get a person to listen to you when they are controlling? controlling. Wow. So a person that's controlling, how do you kind of get them to be more open-minded? And to me, that's why I said what stood out to me about this before we really get into it. Because I don't like to get into it in the beginning because guess what? You're just going to watch that part and be done. But what stood out to me, Kim, about this, uh, even the email they sent us. And they, you know, went in a little bit more detail. But I just wanted to just pull that part out. Is okay. that okay. This person is controlling, but they've been married a while. So to me, I'm I'm hearing... I've been dealing with it, but I guess yeah. now it's been, I guess it's beginning, becoming so much. Yeah. And it's overbearing. Over, it could be overbearing, overbearing, overburdening, overburdening, all, yeah. all yeah. those adjectives. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, just, just, because, you know, yeah, this? because, you know, I, I hear that a lot, but normally I hear it from the guys. It, they say the wives are controlled. Oh. They say that the wives make more money than, than okay, they do. I like so that. they like that, try their best to control the relationship mm -hmm. and control the whole type of environment. So now that I'm hearing it from another side where the wife is saying that the husband is controlling, controlling. I'm wondering, I'm just thinking in my mind, I'm wondering, I'm is the husband making more money than the what? wife? And so he acts like and he assumes that he can control the whole relationship mm. because he controls the finances. He controls, you know, where it's going and coming. Right. And that that helps him, you know, say that, look, it's either my way 
or the highway. So what I'm hearing, so you you believe money is a factor. Usually when there is money involved, <laughs> if there is person most, making more money, they are the one that wants to take control. Most of, of the everything. guys that I've talked to, that's okay. what they're running across. Okay. They're running across that because their wives make more than they do. Okay. And their wives are more, you know, prominent than they are. The wives have a more higher status than they are. So the wife kind of controls the environment. So let me just ask you. you kind of controls always, the environment. You know, I always like to ask this. So where would I say, because you often say that if you would allow me to, you always say allow. I like that word that you use. If mm -hmm. you would allow me to run it, that I would run this relationship. And then I, 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 I also said that you would do a good job. Right. You, do you would say do a that. good job you of running it. That. But, and I always said that would be backwards Christian soldiers. Yes. That would be saying, okay. I, I don't want to do it the way it was. Marriage was designed to be. Okay. I want to do it the way you see it designed. So I'm letting you run it, and I'm okay with you running it, and I'm okay with you controlling it, and I'm okay with you saying you having to say so. Okay. It's like me, just like a puppet on string now. Okay. Because I'm going to let you run it. Okay, but uh, in the in the same instance that she's saying, yeah, she may feel like a puppet on the string because you not hearing me, and sometimes I'm just gonna say. Uh, even when you feel like a person is running it, it almost often and often I hear, like you say, even when, with me sharing with different people, that they feel like they're not being heard. Okay, okay. Feel and like I can see it's, that too. it's I can more see of that. a one-way communication right. versus two-way. Okay. Often that's what we talk about. We try to talk about a two-way communication because that's the that's the healthiest way to communicate, not just one way. Right. So to me, when I'm hearing that they're in control, I'm, I'm hearing they're not being heard. Okay. Okay. And normally, whoever controls the relationship normally uh, are, are the vocal ones in the in the relationship, and the other person is not being heard. You know, so you think I'm not being not, heard? No, some of the guys are not being heard too because you know they why I say I want it done this way, this way, and this way. Okay. And then they have to say, okay, well, you know, I, I, I see it this way. No, 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 no. No, I need it done this way, this way, this way. Wives comes in and steps in and don't let the husband have a voice. Yeah. So I can understand this young lady, you know, calling me and saying that. Right. But she doesn't have a voice because the husband sees it. Okay, it's running way other way. I got it designed. It's running way other the way. You know, I set it up. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is just fall in line and, and you know, and allow it to work. See, and I don't like those type of terms, fall in line. Okay, that's what know? it sounds like he's saying. Just you know, fall, just fall in line. line. Yeah. You, know, you, don't have, you don't really have a voice. You're my wife. Okay. I love you. You know, you here in this marriage, but you don't have a voice. That's what it sounds like to me. I, and that's, that's what it, sounds, that's like what it sounds like to me too. Yes. But what I'm hearing, that's the producer doing something back there. But what I also hear is that I don't have a voice, but I haven't had a voice thus this long in the relationship. But yeah, I'm just saying, you're not been married for yeah. 20 something years. And I'm just throwing that yeah. out there. Because they said in here, and I'm, they, they gave me the years, so I know they've been married several years. Several they've been years. married okay. several years. They've been married at over 10, I'm going to say that. And this is a lot you want to ask her. Did she have a voice when they first got married? See, that's the questions okay. I want to, you know me, I always yeah. often right. like to ask her, so I'm glad you brought that up. Because yeah. I just wanted to know, when did you see it change? Have you ever had a voice? Has it, has it always been that way? Has it always been on the one-way communication? Get, and you now you're getting tired of it? Exactly. Up with one side of one way a relationship, because one they, way marriage? Because yeah. they also talk about kids and say, now the kids are grown. So had you okay. always allowed this to be that way, and then all of a sudden there's no longer smaller kids. Now I'll let you run that. You know, you okay. can, you can okay. run that. Right, right, right. But when it comes to this, I'm not going to allow you to run this. And so now that the kids are grown... What I mean now I don't have a voice, and that can be tough on a relationship too when of you just course. have one sided where we only see it my way. Mm -hmm. You know, I I wouldn't want a marriage or a relationship where it's just my way. You would it's not. just my way, not because I'm you know I'm crazy, <laughs> and I can imagine if it's just go my way, our relationship be going like this. It would be just crazy because I'm crazy. Okay, you know, so I wouldn't want a relationship where I'm just running it and I don't have all to say. So when all you do it is just. Contributing right. and following along right. with what with, with the way we're going. I do like I, don't want that. I do like the fact that you and I are open minded and it's not just because you're right doesn't mean I'm wrong. We just we You just haven't seen it from my point of view. Exactly. I haven't seen it from your point right. of view. And we try okay. to give each other benefit that. of the doubt and just say seeing it from my point of view. Okay. Understanding my point of view, not saying that I'm gonna agree with you, but I just need to understand why do you see it or why do you think that way? Okay. May not change anything, but it helps me to understand your thought process. That's what yeah, I because see this it. young lady here, I would like to ask her some more okay, questions. Some more Maybe questions you would like to ask. I would like to ask her, you know, uh, uh, has she ever tried to 
you know, set time out and say, look, uh, can I have a voice in this? Right. You know, can right. I say something about maybe uh, what we're going to eat tonight? Right. Or what, what we're going to buy? Or what right. way the furniture is going to be done? Exactly. Or something. So, you know, just exactly. step in and say, hey, can I say something? Does my my opinion really count opinion in this count. in this relationship, right. in, this, in this marriage? Right. And, and I was always wondering, has she ever done that? Or has he always just said, hey, don't worry about anything. Don't ask any questions. Just go along with the program, and this relationship is going to be all right. See, and I just wouldn't want to feel like that, that okay. I'm just going okay. along with the program. Because like you said, I have a bunch of questions. I would just want to know, okay, yeah. so when you move where your home is, did you have any input in any of that? Yeah. Did you have any input in, in what? I mean, when you say you you just feel like you're not being heard, or you're not being heard uh, with what? With the decision making? Right. I mean, I have a ton of questions that I would like to ask. And just to see kind of where did it start? Right. When did you start noticing that you're not being heard? Uh, or maybe when did you notice that he was in control? Exactly. Because the first sometimes, that's how it happens sometimes. Sometimes we <laughs> enjoy it. Sometimes we like it. Oh, okay, because things are running smooth. The yes. bills are being paid. Yes. You know, we're not behind on anything. And exactly. things are going great. great. So right. I'll let you keep running that I'll because things are going great. going great. And then when things start to get out of whack, maybe, mm -hmm. and we see things start to get behind and things are not, you know, uh, mm -hmm. business as usual anymore, right. that's when I start sounding the alarm and saying something. Then, So that may have been what happened. She probably was just like enjoying it. I'm enjoying my husband in charge. I'm enjoying him taking the lead on everything. I'm enjoying my husband, you know, making sure everything is taken care of and you don't have to want for anything. So She's probably okay with that. She probably was, but in the same sense, how do we help her to not to not not allow her to feel overwhelmed because right now it's a problem because she wrote yeah, in and she yeah, wants to know yeah. how can she get her husband that's controlling mm -hmm. been controlling we don't know for how long. We know they've been married a while, but yeah. been controlling. How does she get him to hear her, listen to her, Ooh, allow yeah. her to have yeah. a voice? Yeah. How, how, do, how do we do that? How would you even tell someone to start? What would, what would be the first thing you would tell them to do to start? I mean, you know, how, how would you set that up? <laughs> if it was me, <laughs> opposite the direction, yeah, I'm just I would probably start showing some resistance. Really? <laughs> yes. You have to sound the alarm. If you don't sound the alarm, they used to say, Grandma used to say years ago, the empty wagon makes the most noise. The squeaky wheel, wheel gets the oil. Okay. So that means you'll be a herd now. If the squeaky wheel going down the road, make so much noise. Then you have to put some oil on it, and that, that way it won't be making so much noise. So, what so I would make some resistance. You know, I would start slowing down and say, look, I, I don't like what we're doing today. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go there and eat today. If it's just something small, gotcha. I don't. Uh, you want to go eat pasta? I don't want to eat pasta today. I want to eat some chicken. Okay. What? We always go eat pasta on Tuesdays or Mondays or whatever. Right. But there, I want to change it. Why all of a sudden now you want to change? change? Now I'm starting to get a conversation out of it okay. because I'm resisting. So that after that one time resistance, something else pop up. Well, I don't want to go to the movies tonight. No, I don't want to go to the movies. Well, let me ask you a question. What if the resistance? Allowed you to be in control because okay. when I resist, that's when it got worse. Okay, I need to so that's why I'm just going along. Ding, 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 ding. Going along I need to sound that long. The reason why ding 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 I'm resisting is because now I want to change. Okay. Oh, all of a sudden after several years, after now several you want to years, change. You want to change. Ding, ding 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 ding. Yes. I think she should start sounding the alarm and let them okay. know that now it's not a good time anymore. Okay. I'm kind of getting fed up with business mm -hmm. as usual. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of getting fed up not being heard. Okay. I'm kind of getting fed up, you know, just being just stepped on and overlooked, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. neglected, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she, she won't be so, you know, have so much resentment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. much, so she won't have so much resentment yeah. over the relationship. So right. that's what I would do. You That's know what? what? It's interesting that you said that because I could kind of see uh, a person being resistance. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you. Sometimes I, you know, I try to be resistance when I feel like you taking control or you. Sometimes. You, well, Kenna, let me finish. This is me speaking. I just do. I do. I be resistance, and then sometimes it don't turn out the way I want it to. So that's why when you say it, be resistant, sound the alarm. So when you do that, it may not turn out the way you want it to. Right. It may even it could go worse than what it is or it could it could possibly be a change i think and i and i do like that i'm not saying that's not that's a i think that's a great idea to at least 
uh, show some resistance, sound the alarm. I think, but well, first, I think we need to communicate. Even though he's not listening, I, about to say, I listen, need we, to. Listen, we're not going to communicate. But I think we need, to, I think at some point he does. I think he communicates. At something. Oh yes, you, most definitely. You, and that's what I'm <laughs> most saying. Most definitely, is going to communicate. Resistance is part of the communication. Like you said, I want this. Well, let's do something different. So I'm saying, like, like let's cook this, and you think I'm gonna cook it, and it need to be done at six. Us oh, gonna go a little late. Like you said, that's gonna start a conversation. Yeah. So I do like the resistance, but I'm just saying, I just think we have to be careful the way we're resisting. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I don't think you just be resistance and rebellion and say. I'm just not doing it. But I like the fact how you said, we always eat pasta every Tuesday. I don't want pasta. Today I want chicken or I want a salad. Like you said, that's going to start the conversation. Yeah, I need to change. It's going to start the conversation. I need to change the narrative here because okay. it looks like we're going down the road the same we're way. The same way. And, you know, since it's going my way, right. it's okay. It's, right. it's going fine. I don't see nothing wrong with the way I'm doing it. But what, well, you have a problem with me the way I'm doing it now? But, it's nothing wrong with the way but, I'm doing it. what if I really didn't like pasta? I was just doing it because, you know, to keep all, it All of a sudden now no. you don't like it. You see? So, but I never like pasta. I, I just did yeah. it because that's something you enjoy doing, and I did it to keep it confusing. And, so I, and I think that what that would do is open his eyes up, or yep. open his eyes, and I agree. open the eyes up and see that okay, you're resisting. It. Oh, now we have a problem. Right. Yes, can we have a conversation on what I like sometimes? Mm -hmm. I like that because and just start hitting me. I like that you said the resistance because it will start a conversation. Because you're so wondering, you, know. you know, you, know. You, you you haven't changed. I'm not saying change your pattern. I know you go to work and come home. Who You you must be talking to somebody. No, I'm just tired. You right. know, I'm just, I just want to do something different. different. I don't want to do the same thing, same thing we're doing now. I don't want to do it next week. I don't want to do it next year. I don't want us to be in the same situation that we're in. So I think that's great to at least do some type of resistance well, you can sound the alarm. And then what we need to talk about, too, maybe later on down the line, is don't let it get so far out of hand mm -hmm. to where now it's going to be so hard to bring it back into the loop. Okay. You know, he's probably been controlling for such a long period of time. Right. Now, all of a sudden, it's on down the road, down, and it's just snowball. Yeah. And now, all of a sudden, you want to tap the brakes and say, hey, yeah. can we reel this back in? Oh, no, this train is going on down the track now. Right. It's hard to bring it back in now. And see, I So, I think we need to say something ahead of time. I agree because, like you said, like the old saying, it's, it's hard to uh, train your old dog to new tricks. How they say and go old. It's, it's, it's hard, hard to, to teach an old dog, dog new tricks. tricks. Okay. Thank you. So even that person that's the controlled person, even with me resisting, how do you help them? I'm saying because they probably won't change. They're probably like, okay, just because you want chicken. I'm just saying, go get you some chicken, but I still want to go eat pasta. Tuesday. Well, if they've been married a long, long time, time, that's what I'm saying. He probably does, you know, care about her feelings oh, of and course, her I emotions. Believe that. I believe that. And maybe if she ties that feelings and that emotion into it and let him know that she's passionate about this, mm -hmm. maybe he'll listen. Yeah. You know, and he may not change all of a sudden, but he'll listen to her and see that. Hey, I see you're serious about this. You mentioned it several times you now. It, so yeah. I see you're serious about this. So, you know, what what am I doing that's so horrible? Right. You know, he might be right. doing, you know, sometimes people in the control, they don't really care. Right. They don't really understand that they're controlling, like you said, is making exactly. me so mad. Exactly. He thinks that he's doing the right thing. He thinks that he's keeping the house in order because mm -hmm. the auto bills are being paid. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is just going mm -hmm. the way it should be going. You know, he didn't think nothing wrong with that. Exactly. But now all of a sudden you're saying, oh, man, I, 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 I don't see it going right. And see, that's why when I was telling you when I said we need to communicate, because I think at some point we do may have time for we're able to talk. Even if it's with your, at your favorite pasta place. I think I may have his attention there because that's what he enjoyed. And to me, we could start a conversation there. And I'm saying it's going to go right, but at least I have your attention. At least okay. we're together. Okay. When a, If you didn't want to do it privately where, you know, he may get really upset publicly. I'm saying just kind of, I think it should be in a setting where you feel comfortable doing it. And that's why I, say, I think talking, everything to me go back to talking. Communication is is big it's for me. Yeah. Communication and I think everything goes back to that. So to me, if we can get our conversation going, I think we could really be headed in the direction that we need to be headed in. And, and, and that's what I want to talk about later on down the line. Okay. Let's get a handle on this from the beginning so it won't get so far out of control. 
Because okay. if we started now and you seeing me, you know, you seeing me kind of being too much control, and now you'll say, mm-hmm. "Can I on our next conversation that we talk about? I want to talk about, you know, control." Okay. And okay. then I look at you like control. What, what? What do you mean control? Right. Well, I see that this kind of get out of line. Where well, it looks like you're just doing everything and you're not giving me a chance to do anything. Well, what do you want to do? Right. Okay. You know, I, 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 I'm doing it. What do you want to do? Right. And then you'll say, well, now I want to see if I can do some things. Exactly. Exactly. So start it off early where it won't just get so far out of line because this has been going on for, for a long so time. So let me ask you this. Do you think there could have possibly been some warning signs or some red flags? Of course. Or some, of course. Or of some, course. some uh, small of or fall, followers that was there that you could have picked up on to know of that course. there was control? Yes. I do too. Yes. I do too. And yes. I just... Yeah, I think there's always something there, and a lot of times we we look we overlook okay. it and think it's, it's because it's, because it's running so smooth. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, if, if the house is running good and everything is being taken care of, and the wife is being, uh, you know, the husband is thinking that his wife is being supplied all her needs. Oh and yeah, he's, he's giving her money to shop. Yeah. He's giving her money to yeah. eat. He's giving her money that she doesn't want yeah, for nothing. She want for anything. And, and you know, everything's taken care of in the house. Right. He thinks it's okay. Right. He thinks I'm doing a good job. I'm pat myself on the back. I'm doing such a good job. Mm-hmm. But the wife is looking over there like he always does this. He exactly. always takes care of everything. He, he never gives me a chance to do anything. Right. So it's her job too to tap the you know tap the brakes and, and put the time out and say look. Can I do some things? Right, you know, right. I have some skills too. Right. I just so. think, yeah, I, th- I just think we you just we just got to talk about it. I just think, Absolutely. like you said, Absolutely. sound the alarm. I like how you said that, sound the alarm. But what I'm gonna say is, be careful if it's in a, if it's if it's controlling in a toxic, negative way. Toxic environment. You need to. And I'm just gonna be honest. You need to get to get to a safe place. I'm always about you right. being safe. Right. Uh, if it's just controlling, just because you be like kind of the example Kenna just gave. I'm supplying all the needs and everything, and I'm just in control. And because everything is running smooth, that's okay. Right. Not not right. okay, right. but it is okay. Right. But if right. it's if it's controlling in a negative way, right. where there's abuse, physical, mental, any of that, yeah, I don't I don't see you. Right. I think you just sound alarm. I need, and, I need and, you and, to get, get some help. I'm trying to get you some help. Try to get you some help. Try to get you some help because there's a lot of people out there you can talk to now. Exactly. Since we have Zoom now, since we have Facebook now, and yes. all these other entities, yes. you know, there's a lot of help help out there now. Right. Like and I also that. think you need to, even if you don't feel comfortable doing it by yourself, just get a third party. Like Kelly right. said, get you some help. Get somebody over there. Maybe somebody he trusts that uh, that's known them for years and that they're willing to listen to. And maybe y'all all just sit down and talk. talk they, may, they may feel like they're being attacked, but that's okay. At the end of the day, you're still trying to sound the alarm. Right. Because what we're trying to do, we are trying to reunite, restore and get everything back together. So just remember that. That's what we're trying to do. At the end of the day, it's all about a healthy relationship. I know reviving I said it wrong. It. You got to revive it. Everything. Yeah. You talk about it. I know I said it wrong. Restore, you said I just, revive, restore, no, reunite. I just revived. I just said reunite yeah. and restore. So that's why I was looking like, yeah. that ain't it. So yeah. it is. We revived. So that's what you got to do because right now, you're not revived. You're yeah. not revived at all no. because this person is in complete control. So you got to revive it. And that's sounding that alone. Then guess what? You can restore this relationship. Yeah. And then back, guess what? Y'all be back reunited. Yeah, yes. and at the end of the that's day, it's, all, it's about. all about a healthy relationship. Yes, it is. If you can get to a point where, you're he- where your relationship is healthy, healthy. you're on the right path yes. to be where you need to be. Absolutely. So we want to thank y'all for tuning in yes. with us today. We look forward to seeing y'all again. And y'all have a good evening. And don't forget, how about that's them good. Broncos? <laughs> how about them Broncos? I can't How say. I can't say anything. I'm just. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm just baby. Humble. Yes, I'm baby. humble. I'm humble. Yes, baby. All I can say is I'm yes. humble. Yes. That's all yes. I can say. Yes. 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 All right.